Okay. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Oh my god, it's slow. <laughs> oh, let me go the other way. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Back of the Oh. I'm in my shit, baby. You got your tablet? Yep. I did. Well, praise the Lord, honey. You got a good batch of police that actually was concerned. Mm hmm They was. They um put me um take me to the place now. I be um calling y'all to the middle of work. So Are you nervous? Um Okay. Perfect. All right. No I'm I'm relieved I'm away from the craziness. Three four zero four three two zero one four. Thank you. Did it just get crazy tonight, or it been getting crazy? It's been crazy. I've been telling y'all that every day. Mm. Mm -hmm. Was she a junkie? Mm hmm yeah. Lord, Lord. Well, um. <laughs> I'll tell y'all in a bit. When I get to a say uh area to where I can talk. I think they're gonna take your phone when you go in there. <laughs> no, I'll be fine. She said I'll be fine. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be good. I like I love the office down here. <laughs> For real? They try to take my phone. Thank you for your show. I told them I ain't had no phone, baby. Who? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In a shelter, they try to take my phone. I told you that um, like two or three days ago, I started talking about it, and then everybody was telling me. Oh, no. mm -hmm. You okay, love? I'm alright. I'm okay. I'm on my way to the the house. I'll be staying in. Hey, Monica. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Do you pray? <coughs> huh? Do you pray? Yeah, I've been praying today. Wherever you about to go away, be by yourself. I want you to pray to yourself, okay? Okay. And believe in yourself. Okay. I'm going to see if I have a new tool. All right. Thank you, Telly King. We'll teach you. All right. Um, before you let me down, 
Fuck all y'all in them nut ass comments to you bitch ass niggas. I love you, Michael. Bye bye. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Monica, we all been there, baby. And we all know what it's like. Before you come back to Texas, I, I hope you give it a try out there with what I told you to do. Because Texas, I mean, because New York has some good benefits. And I think in Texas, you too familiar with the, the old routine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the reason why I came down here for a change. But the yeah. supporter actor, she was, I feel like she set me up the whole time. Like, the whole time she was mean to me when I got down there. Like... I don't know what, what she got me out here. That's a blessing, but I'm, I'm trying to stay out here. But if I don't know the area, I'm kind of scared. I'm, <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of scared. They have, they have excellent resources. Remember, remember, I told you upstate, no way. So if you just put your foot out there early Tuesday, you're probably have some. Yeah. Before the end of the week. Yeah. Your voucher may take a few minutes or something, but you'll definitely be okay. in a better predicament. Then you'll have your own place. Nobody can put you out. Nobody can tell you shut up, clean up, nothing. Yeah. It's yours. You're right. So it may be a new area. It may be a little bit scary, but girl, you can always make friends. Just keep your mind on what you left for and what your reasoning behind the trip was and don't let this minor setback derail you. Mm -hmm. It's a minor setback for a major comeback, baby. That part. It's cold out here. It's really cold. I got a view on the side of the road. I'm sure it's a little over an eight year old. It's quite a ways off the road where I can start the impact. Maybe a black SUV. About 300 feet out. If I get PTSD in the back of them police cars, baby. Thank you. Thank you for the lottery. Who did that? I I told y'all the real reason why she put Do you think she's gonna give you I, your mail though? Or you think she's gonna be petty? I'ma have to re counsel I'm gonna have to cancel that card and then get a new one. You don't think she'll give you your mail? No. Where's she gonna leave me? I'm not I'm not gonna see that uh, girl no more. She better not watch me ever no more again in her life for real, like real talk. That's crazy. You're not even there. Yeah. 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 Is this snowing out there? She was mad. This is. Let me tell you why she was mad. She was mad because her son was uh, laid up with a female in the house. Um, to let her spend the night. Now, instead of taking it out on her son, she wanted to take it out on me. You know, women don't want they their sons laid up with another female in the house in their house. So she, instead of taking out her son, like she all nice to her son, she took it out of me. She even told her son to go tell me to get out. So her son told me to get out. Her son is twenty years old. I was targeting Monica. What I was targeting like what? No, I told her she so like she uh she uh took oh my, my cigarettes, I'm not serious. But she said I, I accidentally you know it was every cigarette case that I had. Why was she trying to blame it on the cigarette? Twenty is still a kid though. You ain't twenty one, you still you wet behind the ears.
and any any woman with a son or any woman with a child don't want none of their kids in the house later with their significant other um, in their house. They can do it in their own house, but not in their parents' house. And that's just that's over. That's a, a game across the board. So I know how she felt with her son with the, uh, another woman, but why why would she take it out on me? Take it out on him. Yeah, it makes plenty much sense, especially when you're a woman and you don't want your key, uh, kids having no kids early like she did. She had a first kid at 16. So at the end of the day, I know uh, the hurt behind that, but at the end of the day, don't take it out on me because I didn't do nothing to you. Yeah, it seemed like she was trying to find every reason to make you chew out of there. Mm-hmm. Call me. Somebody sent me twenty dollars. Check your cash out. Uh, sexual orientation. Straight. Relationship status. Single. Living through alcohol. Uh, ethnicity. Black. Family language. English. Do you have any children? Two. Do you want to get the names, or are there not? Do you? Um, you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, Maya Messiah. Messiah. And they have the same last name? Yeah, um, well, Messiah has Clay, my last name. Mm-hmm. And Maya has a dad, like Buxton, B U X T O N. T O N. Mm-hmm. U X T O N. Yeah. How old is Messiah? Uh, one year old. Just yeah. turned one. She just turned 10. They both January. Oh, January? Mm-hmm. Um, so, the, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is, was this like a, like a domestic violence situation or was it like a harassment or was it? Yeah, it was kind of like, um. So, it can be like bullying. Like it can be bullying. Okay. Domestic violence. Um, because she got a little bit, she didn't put her hands on me. Mm-hmm. But, but it's still she was very verbally very belligerent, very abusive with her words. Kept calling me a bitch, bitch, this, that, and the third. And I never got that with her. And never said anything to her. Just it was just crazy. I'm gonna do this thing. It's called, I think I told you it's called exploring shelter. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Uh, you said they live in East Syracuse, right? Yes. Um, their family also lives, you know what side of town their family lives? Um, where is that? You know what side of town that Oh, East, East, East. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know where they work? Or what side of town? Is it also in East Syracuse? Yeah, East Syracuse. Where they work at? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, she was retired. Okay. But the son had a job. Um, they usually spend their time in East Syracuse. Do they usually come into the city or... They stay okay. at the house all day, every day. Have you stayed in a shelter before? No. Do you have any concerns about shelter? Yeah, I'm an introvert. Okay. I'm, I get claustrophobic. I have panic attacks. So you're a little nervous right now? Yes. Cause Are you nervous about the community living? Yeah, it's the, the whole... The whole process. Yeah. The whole, I'm not from here, don't know the environment, don't know the people like that. Well, I just found out how the people are, and the church first close to be my supporter for over five years. Mm-hmm. Bring me out here to a place I don't know just to do me wrong. That's like the worst you can do to somebody. I understand that. Oh, I'm talking to you. Okay, my bad, <laughs> I'm gonna put, I'm gonna, if this is okay with you, I'm gonna put it in um, your notes so that the next person that comes in or your seat, your case manager can see all this, okay? Okay. Um, are you employed? No, I'm unemployed 
Your children will be staying with you, right? No, they're not no. with me. I hope that's true. And do you have any goals while you're goals um safe yeah safe get a job safe housing car okay a new okay. phone <laughs> so okay. get a new well, phone well, well, I know. <laughs> I, um i'm so sorry about this oh, i'll just find a job get a car i mean you can do that I have um, a uh, I have mental disorders that I take medicine for, okay. and um, as long as I'm not around too much, too many people, too many people, like I don't like being around a lot of people because that's my um, that's where my panic comes from, anxiety. So it's like anxiety. Anxiety. Yeah, I have anxiety. Okay. Okay. And I'm a veteran too, so but you already know that. You're a veteran? Yes. Okay. Oh well I thought you knew that. Um yeah, I'm a veteran too. So I'm gonna print out some paper work. You already have one bag, that's cool. So we have a drug and alcohol policy. We just we can do whatever you want, just make sure it's not on the premises or inside, okay? Okay. Um, house is living in the shelter. You have a roommate, but she's pretty poor herself. Mm -hmm. Um but uh she might want to talk to you but again um when people come to the shelter, I just tell them is like just focus on yourself. Like you're here to get you know, do what you need to do, but you can also make friends if you want. Yeah. So it's all about you right now. If you feel like you don't want to talk to someone, you don't have to. Okay. Okay. Um, policy. Um, we just ask that you do not share the address with anyone. Mm -hmm. Um, we have it one side of paper saying that you can't share the address because it is non disclosed. Okay. Um, we barely even tell the police officers if that's just like a that was an emergency. Okay. So we will say, okay, this is the address, but we usually don't. Police officers are less when we really call for anything unless you want to um want to call. Okay. But um just we check this ask the phone what it says. Test the control like wash it all the clean house and everyone wants clothes and then you can bring the rooms in there. Okay. 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 Um so we have transportation, so what you can do, uh you can you have to touch test the bus or not really no, no, no. So, it's, so I used to catch the bus. If you need to, we can help navigate that, but we also have people that can do rides. I'm one of the drivers. Okay. Um, this week I'm doing overnight still, but next week I'm here to do that too. Mm -hmm. uh, so, if you want to like, help with like, like, a job interview or you have like a medical appointment with someone, you can help with Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. And when will I be able to talk to my case worker? They don't know that you're here yet, um, but I will send it on the official so I'm not to know that you're here, and they would have to take work and might be. Or take um, so they will do that, and Brittany is the super. Um, but the patron are Loretta and Brian, mm -hmm. um, and they will see if might work best for you. No, you're fine. You said that you're playing on the phone. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um,
Okay. I hate, I hate that people have to do that, but it's a boring part. Was the officer helpful? Very helpful. I did uh, uh, all three of them. That was very helpful. That's good. Were they all women? Uh, one woman and two men. Two men. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear because sometimes mm -hmm. it's, it's not what it's about. Alright, did you want to, um, so we have a consent paperwork and then we have, um, Max no, no consent. Mm -hmm. If you want consent, we can give your information to DSS and we can help you find housing through that. Mm -hmm. Um, you can get public assistance, TA, all that stuff. That's I want all of that, we please. Can do that. So I will do that for you. Hey, Tess. Yeah. Early this morning? It was just wild. I'm, I don't know if they told you, but yeah, just right now. Like, uh, at 12, 12, 20 a.m. That's when we started. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.